Okay, I'm assuming I'm on. <clears throat> if you guys can see me, let me know. Okay, I hope this is I'm working. I'm assuming I'm on. <clears throat> I presume everybody here can hear me. Let me know if you can. Hey, yay. Hey, hey. <laughs> anyway, if you guys can hear me and you're actually seeing me, let me know because I'll have no idea until you guys tell me. Anyway. Let's start this way. Good evening, everybody. It is once again Ted the Speed Learner. And I know whatever I'm saying here is on like a couple of seconds delay. So bear with me on that. <clears throat> it is good to see you guys again. And I'm going to wait. Oh, go away. Okay. Anyway, um, it looks like that I am live, so I'm hoping everything's working out okay. If it is, please let me know. Um, I'm glad you guys have been patiently waiting. I am back. What happened to me? Well, it, <laughs> between the long hours and then... <laughs> You're never going to believe this. I got sick. Now, now here's the thing. I was only sick about maybe 36, possibly 48 hours. I, I don't know if it was 36 or 48 hours. It, was, it really wasn't that long, really. But the thing was that whatever virus I caught filled me up with croup, okay? And what happened was that, oh, go away with that little message. When you're filled up with croup, you're just coughing all over the place, and you can't talk to your audience while you're coughing all the time. You're like, oh, okay. So, for almost two weeks, I could not talk to the camera, because I was just coughing and hacking and coughing and hacking. I could not. You, you can still hear it once in a while, but it's not, it's not near what it was for two weeks. I'm not kidding you. It was bad. It was really, really bad. And... I'm sitting here, I had to deal with, um, I had to pay bills, I had to um, renew my contract with the cable company, and I'll explain that in a little bit. There was a lot of things I had to do, and by doing all that, and I'm going to tip this down just a pinch, I, am, I do want to apologize, I didn't think, you know... I wasn't thinking you guys couldn't see me. But anyway, um, so by the time I got all said and done, and oh, would you get that? I am getting sick and tired of that. Uh, by the time I got all said and done, and I probably should uh, let everybody know, I'll continue talking while I let everybody know. Uh, la, 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 la. Well, I know one person knows. Uh, let's see. Hold on here. We're going to try to get a hold of crazy Josh Cravey. No. That's where I want to go. Okay, good. Oh, this thing is being slow as a duck's butt. Anyway, hang on just a second. Ah, the computer's not working like it's supposed to. This is really ridiculous. Okay, let's try this again. Good grief. Ah, there we go.
There we go. I'm going to let him know. Uh, I had already mentioned to... Well, I probably should... Uh, let's do that. I already made a mention to survival on a budget made easy. Um, okay, so we got two people now watching me. Um, anyway, oh, I have a feeling this informational thing is going to be up here all the time. Arr! Oh, whatever. Anyway, so like I said, I had croup for two solid weeks. That, that is not a joke. I had croup for two solid weeks. And after it was all said and done, I'm like, oh, I finally got my voice back. I didn't. I wasn't croupy anymore. Uh, the weather warmed up, which really helped. I cannot tell you. The weather was just, it was awful. Uh, we, we were, um, around here, we had like 20, 30 degree weather almost until the 1st of March. My birthday, of all things, I was going to do a live stream around my birthday. That was one of the suckiest birthdays I've ever had. I am not kidding you, folks. Not only was I sick, but on top of that, it was just cold. What was I going to do? Where was I going to go? You know what? I'm having a sequel birthday over that. I that was That was just not nice. Really, it wasn't. And on top of that... Um, I have been preparing myself for Red Nose Day. Okay, you know that Red Nose Day is the annual whatever that they do uh, to raise money for children's charities. And I've been trying to prepare myself to um, actually uh, raise money for Red Nose Day with the Looking for Lincoln and Route 66 Wayside Markers. Okay. So, anyway, you got all that going on at the same time. And then, like I said... I had to go to the cable company because in April I was going to lose my two-year contract, so I had to actually renegotiate another contract. Well, that got to be tricky too because the cable company, um, they, they have been informed that people are cord cutting. And so they're going to actually drive every one of their customers to cord cutting. Okay, And I'm going to go in depth with this in just a little bit but the first thing I'd like to do before I go into any of this and I'm glad you guys have been so patient with me is I've been wanting to do this um, I think it was like last summer or whatever I ended up having to buy a brand new as you can see here a brand new uh, mp3 player and here's the reason why um, my old mp3 player just was not holding a charge at all it, it was terrible it was awful and so i had to get a new one and this thing um i'll just go through some of the basics with you uh this is the soul clicker that's what it says s-o-u-l-c-k-e-r that's how it's spelled soul clicker this is the soul clicker mp3 player um, it does accept a micro SD card. As a matter of fact, the slot. I'm trying to find the slot here. Oh, the, the slot is actually on this side. It's actually on this side of the device. Okay. Now, um, let me tell you a little bit about this thing. Uh, it will take it at micro SD card. Um, the controls. This is the thing that kind of aggravates me on this thing, is that the controls are not as user-friendly as they used to be. This this is all touch stuff now. I can't believe it. it, it everything is a touch. If you want to rewind, you have to. It, it, it's like a touch screen, literally. Okay. If I wanted a touch screen, I'd just stick with a smartphone. But I don't. I didn't really want a touch screen. I wanted actual physical buttons, and this one does not have them. So if you buy this Soul Clicker uh, MP3 player, keep, do keep in mind that the buttons are 
touch sensitive and they are not a physical button. So you're not going to have that comfort of actually physically pressing anything. All right, now, uh, compared to my other MP3 player, and yes, my other one did not have a, a micro SD slot. Um, they're pretty comparable as far as that's concerned, but I will tell you that there are some differences that I don't like about this thing. Uh, what I do like is that the battery is it's much better. Okay, uh, the other one was pretty good, but this is this is a much better battery. I will tell you that right now. Um, display is real good. Um, it's pretty sturdy. Okay. Um, it, it all the charging is done down here. It will now there there are there are a couple things about this. It will accept uh, your uh, headphones. Okay, this still has a headphone thing, and I still like that. Uh, this is also Bluetooth. My last one was not a Bluetooth. This one is. So that's a really nice feature. However, uh, one of the things I liked about my other one is that everything was alphabetical. It, you had a list of all the songs. Uh, well, actually, all the artists. Was it artists or songs? I can't remember which one it was, but one of them, it was like everything that started with a letter A, and then they... Then the next list was everything that started with letter B, and so on and so forth. It was really easy to find everything. This thing, you have to scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll, and I don't like that at all. Um, anyway, uh, I will go ahead and show you. Uh, this thing shuffles just like uh, just like the other one. It shuffles, so you, you, you can... You can play a song from A Flock of Seagulls, and then play a song by Donna Summer, and then so you get the idea. Anyway, um, you can play all the songs, or you can choose a song from a particular artist. You can do that. Uh, you can, uh, uh, if if we if you have everything listed from albums, you could you could play that. Uh, you can formulate your own playlist. And on here, you can play music. If you have an MP4 movie, you, I think you're going to be able to play that too. You can show your photos on here. Um, this thing has a microphone. You can actually record your own voice. Okay. Uh, again, I say this has a Bluetooth. And there's some other features on here, and you should you should go ahead and check them out. And I'm trying to see here. Okay, um, you can change the settings of the sound that comes out of this thing. Uh, you can add songs to a playlist. You can delete songs from a playlist. Um, you can play audiobooks on this thing. So overall, it is really a nice uh, MP3 player, except for two things. One, I do not like the touch screen um, on here. I, I want physical controls. Secondly, I don't like how everything's alphabetical on here, but they don't have like a list of A's and a list of B's and a list of C's and a list of everything else. I would like those individual letters uh, divided all that up. I don't, I don't want everything in one giant list because it takes forever to find a song that you really like. Uh, another feature this thing has on here is, as you can plainly see here, uh, you can actually set the date and time on this thing, but uh, after a certain period of time, the display will turn off. See how it just turned off? And if you're driving down the road, uh, none of these controls will work unless you turn the device actually on. Now, this could be very beneficial because if you're in a car and you're driving, uh, you won't be tempted to touch the controls because even if you do, nothing's going to happen while you're driving. However, that does get really annoying if you're sitting at home or whatever and you have to first turn the machine on and then touch the controls to switch from one song to the next. That can get really annoying. Now, the up and down buttons here uh, can uh, turn your volume up and down on this thing. Uh, it does have a good long battery. So overall, it's really not a bad device. It's just it could be very improved. So now you know. And sometimes when you first turn the device on, okay, 
what will happen is that uh, if, if you, uh, with those very touch-sensitive controls, if you hit them just right, they'll flip to the next song, and you can't flip back to the one previous. And that gets a little annoying, too. So there you go. Uh, but that that's basically how that's going. Anyway, uh, if you guys are out there, I would like for you to tell me who you are and let me know what's going on. That way I know who I'm talking to. I, I see I have two people watching right now. Uh, I'd like to see more. Uh, another thing I want to cover right away is uh, I know a lot of you people have been wondering about my next Kindle book. I am going to postpone the release of that until I can get some more students. Uh, I don't want to like sell five or ten copies and then and never sell a copy again. I, I really don't want to do that. I want this thing to actually sell. I want you guys to actually read it. So on and so forth. So I'm delaying it until I can get some better ratings. I'd like to actually get my partnership back. And over this winter, not a lot of people. I, I've had some people watch me, but not as many as I wanted. And I'm trying to get my ratings up. Uh, I don't know if you guys have been noticing or not, but I now have almost 1,860 people watching me right now. Uh, but they're just not watching me for very long, and that and we need something to get them to continue to watch me. And this particular program, I guarantee you, there's going to be some people that are actually going to watch. And the reason for that is because I'm going to discuss um, cable television. As I was saying earlier, cable television, they have recognized that people are doing more and more cord cutting. And because of that, they are trying to switch us over from what we had in the past, which was basically a set top box, and then we had a little internet, to now a fully inter internet based television. Which would be fine with me, but one of the things I, I'm not going to do is I'm not going to rent a whole bunch of extra boxes from the cable company, making them tons of extra money when they don't need it. Uh, I have a Roku on my television, okay? And my sister also has a Roku on her television. And they are perfectly compatible with this new uh, internet box that they gave us. Okay, I've got a new internet box, and because of that, I have get this. Now, now th this is the nice thing about Comcast, and and, and I will I will compliment them on this. Uh, when it comes to internet, they got the best in town. I it, it's it that part is worth the money. I'm not gonna argue with you. I'm not gonna debate you. Yes, it is well worth the money for the internet they're providing. Yes, they really do a good job on that. So, I, compliments and kudos to. Comcast, I don't care if you call them Xfinity or not, whether you call them Comcast or Xfinity, doesn't matter. They have by far the best internet that I've ever seen in this town. And it, it really works well. It, if you guys don't have it, uh, shame on you. Now, I do know that there are other cable companies uh, all around the state. One of them happens to be Mediacom. And... Uh, it's not here in Decatur, but I've heard some good stuff about Mediacom, too. So, uh, if you live in an area with has Mediacom, you might want to go and t discuss with them unlimited internet. The thing is, if you have their new uh, internet box, uh, you get your unlimited internet for cheap. Really, you actually do. And that was one of the things that caused me to get their new box. Uh, I know the box is like, well, it, it's it's somewhat pricey to have in the house, but the savings you have for the unlimited internet, and not to mention the cable television, yeah, it, it pays for itself in the end. Um, but the tough part is not so much uh, getting the new equipment, because it's really nice not to have set-top boxes anymore. All I have to do is plug in my Roku, and we're all set and ready to go. Uh, the tough part is learning all the things you have to learn with the Roku. Okay, and I, and I will teach you some of this uh, in a little bit. And I want you to go, if you have an elderly parent and you're wanting to switch them to internet-based television, which is a wonderful thing, you've got to know some of these things. Okay, the first thing you need to do is, if you have an elderly parent, literally take them to the TV set, let them look at the back of it, so they get the idea 
of inputs, okay? This was something that was taught to me in data processing class years and years ago, all right? And this is very important to teach the elderly this. I'm not kidding you. If you're going to switch them to internet-based television, you got to teach them this one. Uh, because not only are you going to have the Roku hooked up to your TV, uh, and, and that's another thing. You're going to have to get them a new TV. Okay, and, and you don't have to get the most expensive thing in the world. You will have to get them a new TV because most of these times, when you find an elderly parent, they're going to be running a cathode ray television. Okay, that's what they call a CRT television. Okay, they had a cathode ray tube in the television. So, you need to replace that. If you're going to have an internet television, you've got to replace that. A lot of times, these elderly people will still be running their VCRs. I hate to tell you this. But just last year, they stopped making VCRs. Not one company in the United States or anywhere else, they don't make VCRs anymore. They want you on a DVR system. And I'll get into that later. Okay, so this is not this is not something I, I'm ignoring. But I, you, listen, you got to have that. Now, you also have to have unlimited internet. And that's why I got the new box. You have to have unlimited internet if you're going to do the cord cutting and actually watch your t TV from the internet rather than from a set-top box. And that's why you have to have the new box. It's a little pricey, but you do have to have it. It's also a little aggravating, but you still have to have it anyway. All right. Now, the next thing you have to teach these people is what HDMI stands for. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you that here in just a second. HDMI uh, acronym. Let's see. Okay. It stands for high definition. Okay, that, that, that should have come to your brain right off the bat because everything now is in high definition. That's what HD... That You know how they had the HD DVD a long time ago? That was high definition. Well, it's the same principle, okay? And then the other two words are multimedia interface, okay? And what do they mean by multimedia? Well, if you're like me, I have a DVD player hooked up to my television. I also have... Uh, the Roku hooked up to my television, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. means you're getting, you're having more things attached to your television than just a simple coaxial cable. In the old days, we had the old coaxial cable, we attached it, and we were done. That's not the way it is anymore. You can have your, your uh, uh, some of you people have the Nintendo Switch. I still have some of the older gaming systems, and... With those older gaming systems, you have to you have to connect the composite cables to the actual television to play the games. And yes, I know that the resolution is not going to be as good because the video games of the past were designed uh, in those days for a CRT or a cathode ray television. Now. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go on here in just a second, but I wanted to say, if you have an elderly parent and you need them to watch this video, please have them watch this video and they can get all the information from me. Or otherwise, just explain it to them for yourself. But that's what they mean by a multimedia interface is because you have more than one interface for um, your various medias. Okay, so your Nintendo Switch, if you have an Xbox, if you have a PlayStation, all of those are pretty much going to be hooked up by HDMI cables. That's why you need more than one HDMI slot on your television. A lot of these televisions have three, four, five slots for HDMI. And that's why. Because you're going to want to hook up your, your... I have a Blu-ray DVD player. I got that. That was a cool deal, man. I got that on a real cheap deal. I couldn't believe the. It was a really low price. I'm not gonna tell you how much I paid for it, but it was very dirt cheap. I couldn't believe how cheap it was. It's like, whoa! I'm getting a Blu-ray DVD player for dirt cheap. Wow! I was just delighted. But anyway, so what does an HDMI cable look like? Well, I'm gonna show you exactly what they look like. Most of you already know, but if you want to show, share share this with an elderly parent, this is what it looks like. As you can see there, that's how it looks. Okay. Now then, um, 
you have your HDMI's, you have your composite cables. They will often call those composite cables RCA cables because they were originally designed by RCA and they do hook up to video game systems. Uh, the coaxial cable is the old style cable that they used to hook up to your set top boxes and that would hook up to the back of your television. And a lot of your televisions even today will have that. They also have something called an S-Video. And that's a whole nother can of worms I'm not going to get into. S-Video is kind of going out the door. So we won't get into that. But anyway, let's go on here. Whew, I've already given you a ton of information. We haven't even started yet. Okay, so that's the first thing you need to do is show them the back of the TV. Why do you have to do this? Well, I'll tell you the exact reason why. When you have multiple interfaces, like I have just described, what's going to happen... Here, you have this thing called Source, okay? Now, now different televisions will have different buttons. Uh, mine says Source, okay? And there are other um, television remotes like this that will say Input, okay? And you'll click your Input. And once you do, you cho choose between HDMI 1, HDMI 2, HDMI 3. I, I have three HDMI connections on my TV. Uh, my sister only has two. And eventually she may want to have three after a while. But anyway, uh, I digress on that. My particular TV, actually, you can hook up one of those over-the-air antennas. I'm going to discuss that in just a minute. Um... And you can connect an over-air antenna on this thing. You can also connect your uh, uh, composite cables. Remember I was telling you about the composite cables? I'm going to set that back up there because we won't need that for, for a little while. But you can set up your composite cables. You get the idea on that. Whew, that's, a, that's a lot of stuff there. You can actually connect all that to the television. And... Uh, I'll even go a few steps further than that, but we'll we'll just take this one step at a time. So, like I say, you connect you can connect your composite cables, your HDMI cables, your coaxial cable for an over-the-air antenna, etc., etc., etc. I could go on and on all night long. I'm not going to do that. So, bear with me. Okay, now, um, for those of you who own a Roku. You might have this Roku remote. Now, the more modern Roku, Roku's on here will have a little microphone, and you can press it, and you can talk to your remote, and it should pull up whatever you want. Uh, it'll also have uh, audio buttons on the side. It'll have audio up, audio down, and also mute. Okay, but this is the actual Roku remote. Now, the next thing I want to discuss with you people is these navigation buttons. You need to get your elderly people to start recognizing these as navigation buttons. Why? Because if they ever have to call technical support, that's what they're called. Okay? And if they do not understand that terminology, they're going to have a real tough time talking to the technician. And you don't want them to have that problem. Get it? So, Anyway, like I said, you have your navigation buttons, and the navigation buttons are actually arrows. There's the up arrow, the left arrow, the right arrow, and the down arrow. These are also very important to understand. Now, when you first turn on Roku, when you first turn it on, uh, you will see these squares, okay? and they'll have different logos. Every one of these squares will have logos. Do you know what those squares are called? Those are apps. Okay, every one's an app. It is no different on this than it is on your smartphone. And I'll be discussing about far smartphones here in just a second, but the apps on your smartphone are basically the same as what you'll find on your Roku. Like, oh, okay. Now, you will also notice that one of the squares on the uh, Roku main page will be highlighted in white. What's a highlight? Well, to, to get the elderly to understand the highlights, to get them to comprehend what you're trying to tell them, pull out a highlighter. You know, you know, back, you know how we had back in the days that we had these special markers called highlighters, and you'd 
highlight a particular word or passage in a, in a book. Same concept. Okay? But the thing is, you've got to get these people to understand that on different apps, you're going to have different colors of highlight. Okay, that's the same way with the book. Sometimes you want to highlight something in red because it's more important than the other stuff you highlight it in yellow. Get the idea? When you're dealing with Amazon, you're going to have things highlighted in yellow. When you're dealing with Roku, you're going to have everything highlighted in white. When you deal with the Xfinity Stream app, everything's going to be highlighted in blue. And so on and so forth. So the highlight color is going to be different with just every, just about every app you got. But the fact of the matter is that that highlight, regardless of the color, is a highlight. And when something is highlighted, then you press the OK button and it takes you to that next spot. Okay? They have to understand this terminology or they can't explain it to the technician when they're working with them. So, tell them what HDMI stands for. Tell them then um, what... Um, tell them what highlight is. Also tell them about uh, the navigation buttons. Okay? There are navigation arrows to say this is a this is the navigation up arrow. This is the navigation uh, down arrow. This is the navigation left arrow and the right arrow. And you get the idea. But you got to tell them stuff like that. And when you do, uh, it'll it'll make it easier for them to communicate. Okay, especially with a technician. Okay. Now then. A lot of you people have been asking about uh, DVRs. How do we solve the DVR problem? That is not easy to solve. The one thing you don't want to do is pay a buku amount of money to a cable company to rent a DVR. And if you have more than one room, you're going to have more than one DVR. And that can get expensive. Oh, no. I'm now going to introduce you to a piece of software. It's called Play On. It's about 25 bucks. You download it into your computer. You link it to your Amazon account and to your Vudu account. And when you have bought a movie or a TV show through Amazon or Vudu, and you can also connect it to YouTube as well, because there's a little thing that lets you connect it to YouTube as well. I don't know how well that works. Uh, you let me know how that works. But you can actually link it up to YouTube as well. You can use your computer as a DVR to record that, and then you can store that on a flash drive. And uh, anything, anything that will accept flash drives should be able to play an MP4. Not everything does, though. Be warned. Some things that accept a flash drive don't necessarily allow it to be played on, a, on an MP4. My Blu-ray player will play MP4s that are stored on a flash drive. That's a fact. But my problem is they will not allow me to, to uh, play MP4s from an 8 terabyte hard drive. That gets to be a problem, and I'm going to talk about that in just a minute. Uh, but I am also going to, uh, in just a moment, share with you a video I'd like for you guys to check out. Uh, it's a screen capture recorder, and you can take a look at that as well. I might as well just go ahead and pull that up right now. Let's see. Stand by. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see. Watch later. Good. La, 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 la. Okay, I'm going to share a link with you guys. It's a link to a YouTube video. I want you guys to check it out. And uh, I know this will record. This will record over the air. Um, television. I'm assuming it'll also record Pluto and uh, some other stuff that has lots and lots of commercials in it. I don't know about other stuff. You'll have to experiment with this thing and see what it will and will not record. And let me know. Okay. 
buy it, play with it, see what it'll record, and let me know. I'm going to continue experimenting with it myself, and I will let you know how it works. But there you go. There you have it. Woo! So, go ahead and check out that recorder. And, like I said, with Play On, if you link your accounts, you can actually use your computer as a DVR, and you can actually record a show. And when you record the show, then you can store that file as an MP4 and put it on, you know, a flash drive, which you can then hook up to, like, a DVD player, like... Like I said, my Blu-ray will actually play MP and will play uh, MP4 uh, video formats. Um, others won't. And if you run into an, a and yes, I would recommend you start going into Blu-ray players, mainly because um, Blu-ray players will play regular DVDs, but regular DVD players will not play Blu-ray. They won't. So you really want the Blu-ray. Um, mp3 player make sure it can link up to a flash drive uh, some of them may actually link up to an 8 terabyte hard drive I don't know some will some won't so uh, you might want to investigate that as well but anyway I have bought yet another device and I want to go ahead and show it here I have not yet hooked this thing up so I'm not running through all of its tests But this comes from a company called Sendave. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to plug my 8 terabyte hard drive into this and have it play on my TV. Why would you want something like this? I mean, if you got unlimited internet and you can watch whatever you want, why would you want to do that? Well, let me tell you something. <coughs> There's been towns that have been struck by tornadoes. And even though the power got back on really, really quick... The internet didn't necessarily get on really, really quick. And that's a problem. So, this thing, like I said, it, you can uh, attach an antenna to it. And it will broadcast to your TV. Uh, you can also attach, like I said, a uh, flash drive to this. It will play on the TV. Uh, I, Like I said, I don't know if it will actually play... Um, it may play a Roku. I don't know. We'll, we'll, I'll, I'll have to experiment with this. But I bought this. It's it's not very expensive at all. You can look this up. Uh, it's the Sendave. Oh. That's the company name. It's an HD TV digital converter. And it will play MP4s. But I don't know to what extent it will play. But anyway... If you can get a hold of one of these, once you uh, have used Play On to store something on a flash drive, you can plug that flash drive into here, play it on your TV. Did you know that every single so, I'll experiment with this, and if it will take an 8TB hard drive, that's even better. It's not that expensive, and you can use it. But anyway, those are my solutions to most of your problems. If you guys are heavy into sports or heavy into like concerts or something like that, you may want to get a DVR from the cable company because that would probably be a better choice for you. You might even get a TiVo if you want. But again, that's $15 a month. For the rest of us, I say use this stuff instead. So, uh, but I, I'm just going to sta stand here and say that probably if you get yourself a very nice DVD player that's a Blu-ray with a flash drive uh, hookup, you should be able to possibly hook up an 8 terabyte hard drive. Mine won't do that, but uh, others might. So give it a shot, give it a try. Now, the final thing I'm going to talk about tonight and I'm sorry I even had to talk about this, is um, I was forced to get a new smartphone. I'm not kidding you. I literally was forced. I've had my smartphone for years, and all of a sudden, TrackPhone gave me a thing and said, hey, if you don't switch your smartphone now, you will not be able to use your smartphone anymore. I'm like, well, I don't want to switch into a new smartphone, but okay. So we did. And it... Uh, I'm not going to how much I paid for, but it was it wasn't cheap. Uh, but 
what I got was a really good deal, despite the fact it wasn't all that cheap. But I was forced to do this. I didn't want to do a new smartphone, but I was forced to do it. Uh, but I got myself a Samsung. And the reason I had to get a Samsung is because the battery on it is it does last longer than um, than uh, what they you know. Oh, let me get rid of this. My old smartphone. Oh my gosh! After a few, after a couple of hours, that thing was pretty much uh, needing energy. I mean, it needed an underdog super energy pill. Uh, with this thing, not so much. So, uh, I guess I can show you what it looks like. Whoa! <laughs> I guess that is one other thing I'd like to talk to you guys about tonight. And Oh, come on! Really? Uh, what a pain in the butt. I unplugged my... Uh, I'll tell you about that in a second. But anyway, let's go on here. We source the finest cod and batter each fillet by hand and always cook it to order. That beautiful huh. golden brown color and flavor well, inside. Well, I want to do a smartphone. It's a Midwest tradition. It's about oh, having the other nice. families, I friends. I love bringing this tradition to guests everywhere. Aha! 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 Yes! My smartphone! Get free two-day shipping. Of Here it is, my smartphone. Plus, save I'm not going to turn it on, but there it is. Even yeah, you know, I got a new one. I had to get a new one. They, that track phone forced me into this. This was not my choice. I think it's my choice. Uh, no, it was not. It is either do it or I was not going to have a phone anymore, and that's not a good thing. So, anyway, uh, I will tell you that my new smartphone and my MP3 player both are Bluetooth. So, anyway. Alright. Alright. So. So anyway, I've told you guys a bunch of that interesting information. Woo! Okay. Now, um. Da -da -da -da. There was something else I was going to tell you guys tonight. Oh, yes! I've been getting this. And I got a few people to write to me, and they actually told me this, and so I'm going to go ahead and cover it tonight. I'm sure you guys have heard of something called the Ad Block Plus, which you can add to Google Chrome, and when you do, it blocks lots of little ads that keep popping up onto web pages. But you guys have been telling me that it has been sucking up a lot of RAM, okay? RAM, RAM actually is random access memory. I'm sure you guys knew that if you've been watching my videos, which you should be. Uh, but the thing is that when certain things run in the background, all right, uh, they will suck up RAM like you wouldn't believe. And one of the things that runs in the background is Adblock Plus. What it does is it intercepts advertisements. And then uh, because of, an, of, a, of a flaky thing between Google Chrome and Adblock Plus, it doesn't dump out the ads. It just stores them someplace. Well, we don't want that. So, what you're going to do is you're going to right-click right the Adblock Plus icon on your address bar. And you're going to click Options. Okay? Now, when you click Options, when you right-click that Adblock Plus and you click Options, you're going to see on the left-hand side of the screen some settings. One's going to be General, one's going to be Whitelisted, One's going to be advanced, and one's going to be help. Go to the advanced. And then scroll down until you find... Oh, uh, let's see. Something called easy list. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to shut down easy list and hit the update button. Once you shut down easy list and hit the update button... You're going to turn Easy List back on, hit the update button, 
and then close out your browser and turn it back on. When you do, all the extra garbage is going to go in the garbage can. It is not coming back. And I would suggest doing it when you have a large number of uh, ads. Just shut it down, turn it back on. It will get rid of those ads for good, and you and you you'll you'll be surprised at the performance of your computer after that. Uh, another thing I will cover tonight is that recently, uh, Windows. Uh, if you still own a copy of Microsoft Windows, which I still do, uh, they just had an update, a major one. It will take about 15 minutes for the updates to store up, so you will definitely want to do that. And the only other thing I will say is that Play On, when you buy it for 25 bucks, it will run on Microsoft Windows. I don't think it'll run on Linux. So you might want to keep that in mind. Uh, I don't know if you're running Linux how you would do a lot of that DVR stuff. But let me know what what you're going through. Uh, if you're a cord cutter, let me know what you're dealing with. Like I say, it depends on what area you live in as to what options you have. If you have a situation where you're living in an area where you can have Google Fiber and also, um, you know, like Xfinity or something like that, you could choose one or the other. If we had Google Fiber out here, I'd choose Google Fiber over Xfinity. But since we don't have Google Fiber, I'll go with Xfinity because it's really good internet and it works well. It's kind of expensive. It's, it's not over-the-top expensive, but it is kind of a luxury item. Uh, but like I said, the... The more internet I have, the less TV I have because of the fact that I'm using Roku. And I get a lot of internet programming through the Roku, and that has become my television. And like I said, they, 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 Xfinity really wants you to go with their Xfinity Flex, but that means running another piece of equipment from them, and I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go through Roku, and that's exactly what I've done. And it does save me money by going through Roku instead of going through their Flex. Woo! Well, so uh, one of the nice things about the setup I'm, I'm setting up now is that um, I don't have a bunch of set-top boxes anymore. That is really nice. And like I said, when I buy something from Amazon or I buy something from Vudu, which both services I highly recommend, um, the main reason to store all that stuff on an 8 terabyte hard drive is that, like I said, if you have a natural disaster and um, the electricity comes back but the internet doesn't come back right off the bat, if you have everything stored in an 8-terabyte hard drive, you can just hook that thing up and play it all day long and not worry about it. But if you don't have things stored in an 8-terabyte hard drive, you got a problem. You won't have any entertainment or nothing. it will be pretty quiet. And you don't want it to be quiet. Okay? Whoever you were talking to. Huh. So anyway... Ooh. Hopefully what I've told you is a lot of information. I, I wanted you guys to know all this stuff. Um, There's no need to do that, man. Wow. So, what do you guys think of this particular presentation tonight? I know, thinking you're straight. I'm just talking to myself. I wouldn't trust a word out of your stinking Yankee mouth if you told me the peaches were sweet in the sun. Look, I just needed a place to rest, that's all. That was a lot of stuff to cover, I can tell you that. I'm not going anywhere, Blue Coat. If he's talking to anyone, Miss Libby, they're gone. See? I wasn't lying to you. Maybe they're coming back. Don't you remember the old days of YouTube where we could just do everything live and I didn't have to wait five or six seconds for somebody to actually reply back to me? This is ridiculous. This sounds bad. I think I better go to the What'd you say? I said to go ahead and 
Put me in shackles if you yeah, want. Yeah, you can to tell run. I'm getting tired. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I wanted to share all this information with you people and let you know where I have actually been. Like I said, if it wasn't for the croup, I would have been back on weeks ago. But that croup is... Uh, oh, you know what? I, I probably should talk about the coronavirus. Um, I'm not going to do a major, massive discussion about it. But I can tell you right now... I'm going to tell you this. The panic over it is going to be far worse than the coronavirus itself. This, this panic is just... It's blowing my mind. And so... I would worry more about the panic over this thing than the actual virus itself. Uh, if you do hoard anything, it is only because people are panicking and it has nothing to do with... And, and the thing is that... The coronavirus has not infected near as many people as the regular flu has. And I'll tell you what, a lot of people have come down with the flu around here, including yours truly, for a little while. So, um, regular flu will do far more damage than that coronavirus ever will. You're going to find that more people you're dealing with will have the regular flu than they actually will the cor coronavirus. You're like, wait, what? Are you kidding me? So, yeah. Anyway, the weather's warming up. Um, I'm not sure what events I'll go to this uh, year. Um, it's just going to be play it by ear. I should be at the Macon County Relay for Life this year. I should be taping the uh, Razzle Dazzle a Good Time Parade this year. Also the Calvin Pioneers. Uh, for any other parades, it's just going to be a, a toss-up. I just don't know. But anyway, now you know. Alright. So. We go together. Like go ahead and dance, check here. And first everything. Like peas. Oh. And no thank you. Like falling down and getting up. Like feeling free and feeling safe. Like growing close and growing up. Mix and match clothes. For a mix and match life. Girl animals. We go together. I wrote this a long time ago. I don't know how old I was. I hope someday I will be on a real football team. I'm Katie Sowers, offensive assistant coach for the San Francisco 49ers. Oh, yes. I'm not just here to beat the team. Um, I'm here to help for the video response wars, I wanted to let you know that, um, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. I would want to tell this little girl to I did actually get a chance to check out your, uh, Crazy Josh Cravey. I did get a chance to check out your video picnic boys versus the hypno undergrad uh i did not have any time to actually make notes over it yet but i will so i didn't want you thinking oh gee he hasn't gotten to it. i haven't gotten to it yet i just haven't gotten to it yet uh, but i will i promise you i will get to it uh there's a lot of videos that survival on a budget made easy has made i have not reviewed any of those yet I will do that. Oh, so that that part is coming as well. And but like I said, when it comes to this television stuff, because they are, they even even our, my cable company has been forcing people to start. Well, let's say incentivize incentivizing. Okay, they're giving incentives to you to actually do the cord cutting. And the way they're doing this is they're saying, okay, your cable boxes are going to be more expensive. So after a while, you'll either continue paying for the cable boxes or you'll switch over and you'll be on your own. Which I think it's brilliant. Let's be on our own. Let's cut the cord and be done with it. Anyway, well, I wanted to show you this. Uh, you remember that Soul Clicker DVD player? Yeah, yeah, forget what I said. Bring on the gangrene. Honestly, I'll never understand you Yankees. Oh. Dirty, stinking, foul ball Wait a second, Yankees, me, or well, people just like you. People just like me don't want okay. to and slaughter an entire herd of You might be experiencing some buffering. Steal most all their chickens and their corn. Um, hopefully you're not experiencing too much. How dare anyway, you. like it's I said, um... And it's not your husband that's been killed. This is the... 
Oops. Instruction book for the Soul Clicker uh, MP3 player. And there you go. Anyway, I think that's a lot of very overwhelming information to give you guys tonight. Uh, I hope you appreciate all of it. Let me know in the comment section what you what you thought of all the stuff I told you tonight. And uh, look up the devices I tell you. Also, don't forget to look up that uh, video. I left a link in the live chat. I'll have to look at the live. I'm also going to leave the same link in the description once this live stream is over. But now that you know what's been going on, you can further appreciate everything I've been doing. All right. Well... Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this live stream from here. Uh, mainly, guys, I got other things I need to do. Um, I guess there's one other thing I could share with you tonight. For those of you who want to watch a Blu-ray uh, movie on your computer, this is a company called Archgon. And they have this uh, Blu-ray player that will actually attach via USB to your computer. Okay. And you can attach that. There you go. You're all set. So. You're enjoying this a little too much. Now that you know that. Well, you got to figure out a way to get her like you. She thinks all Yankees are filthy animals. I wanted to thank each and every one of you for watching this presentation tonight. I know it's kind of taken some wild tangents here, there, and everywhere else. I've introduced you some some stuff, uh, cool stuff, <laughs> but it was it was stuff I needed to introduce you to. I want to thank you very much for watching me tonight. And the next time I get on the air, I hope to have some better material for you guys. And now that I have more subscribers than ever, hopefully I'll get some more watch time. And maybe we can get back on the partnership program and I can publish my next book. Uh, the notes to it are already there. All I have to do is finish a few things up and boom, we'll be all set and ready to go. So, again, I want to thank everybody for being so patient with me and watching me. And uh, if you have any questions, please just leave them in the comments. And we'll deal with them as we can go along. All right, well, since I'm getting really tired tonight and I need to get back to doing things, um, I, I guess the last thing I'll tell you before I go, I didn't care, like, wait a minute. He's going to tell us one more thing. Yes, I'm going to tell you one more thing. Uh, when you get the Roku, watch Pluto TV. Uh, and it's after you learn from me. Make sure you learn from me because... Like I told, survival on a budget made easy once. Surviving on a budget made is, is easy. Surviving on a budget is easy. He's absolutely right about that. But you cannot survive without a budget. That you cannot do. And if you're trying to survive without a budget, you are making a humongous mistake. You need to learn from me. That way you'll have a budget to survive off of. That's the way it works, people. But... Um, now that I've completely lost my train of thought, uh, there was one more thing I was going to tell you guys, and I have completely forgotten about it. But uh, if I think about it, I'll tell you on my next live chat. I want to thank every, each and every one of you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And like I said, the next time, I'm going to have all kinds of new stuff for you. And we're going to get the ratings up, and boom, there you go. So, hopefully you will tutor your elderly parents, get them on an internet-based television system. And like I said, I have to work the next couple of days. I may do another live stream on Sunday. It just depends on what kind of notes I take and, and so on and so forth. And this is... Lieutenant Richard Montgomery from Richmond. All right. Well, this is Ted the Speed Learner signing off. I will tell you more in a future video, so I'd like for you to stay tuned. I said that it's a real pleasure to meet you. I'm surprised a man your age is not in uniform, serving the South.
Well, I am. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, you are. Uh, uh, you're with the, uh, the with Mississippi Sixth. Uh, Mississippi Sixth. Uh, yeah, I'm a under captain. the command of General uh, John under the command Adams. Of General John Adams.